Hi, I'm Dr. Margaret Poli Castro, Professor and Director of the Language and Literacy Program at Roosevelt University in Chicago. I'm excited to share with you today my new book titled Living Literacy at Home, A Parent's Guide. This book evolved from my life as a literacy educator and a mother, and for more than 25 years of working in our university summer reading clinic with parents and teachers. From the clinic um, and all my experience um, in working with parents, I've learned that parents really do want to know how to help their children with literacy. They need tools, they need guidance. Um, and so I wanted to write a book that would provide tools to help parents with the enormous complexity of literacy and literacy development, but provide for them a simple way um, to think about literacy through the lens of living it every day in their life. So I begin my book <clears throat> by talking about the state of literacy in today's schools. And here's what I know because I'm in schools all the time. There is a real sense of urgency about teaching children how to read. Um, when I go into schools, parents um, need to know that administrators and teachers are under enormous pressure to make sure that children do well on the high stakes assessment. So most importantly in this book, I've given parents ideas about how to get them ready for what is ahead of them in school. Um, I also have a favorite chapter in the book called Making Every Day a Literacy Rich Day. And this section is really all about the joy of reading and introducing to kids ways for them to love literacy every day. Um, little things like things you can do in your kitchen, things that you can do in the grocery store, restaurants, um, on family trips, um, really bringing to light where literacy is all around us in our life. Um, I also talk a lot about home to school connections, getting child, children ready no matter where they are, preschool or already in school. Um, came up with a back to school planner for parents, um, ways that parents can get involved in the school through volunteer work. Uh, ways to help your child with homework, setting up a homework center in your home, ideas for how to get ready for parent-teacher conferences, and most importantly, what to do if you have a child who you think is struggling in school. So to make all this work within our families, I talk a lot about routines and what families can do to establish literacy routines, whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening. We need to think about how we can read out loud to our children every day, and that can certainly happen with bedtime stories. Um, in our house, we had um, a story that we told to our children about fish. It was a story about fish, um, and it went on for over 15 years, and we never really had an ending to the story. Um, we need to set up homework routines so that kids really can establish um, for life ways that they can study. Uh, we need to think about getting kids into the library and having routines to make that weekly. And this is all about bringing access to books to kids. Um, there's a really nice section in there about how to decorate your house with books and what would that look like, what you can do with books. Um, there's also um, information about how to build and create a home library and all the ways in which books can be um, throughout your house. There is also a wonderful appendix that has organizations that can help parents with literacy and there's also um, information on websites that you can go to to learn more about literacy. So I hope you enjoy this book as much as I loved writing it. Thank you.